Hello guys, welcome to DevOps CI/CD tutorial series. As part of this video, we will see how to read version from pom.xml using Jenkins declarative pipeline. In the previous video, we have seen how to upload war files to Nexus. But there is a small problem with the code. We hard coded version of our war file, which is going to change every time we do a new release. For every release, this version is going to be incremented. I want to pick up same version inside my code. In order to dynamically read version from pom.xml, Jenkins pipeline has utility plugin. Let's install it and see how to use it here. Let's go to manage Jenkins, manage plugins available. There is pipeline utility steps. Let's click install without restart. Before this plugin gets installed, meanwhile, let me show you the documentation for uh, uh, utility plugin. Let's search for read palm version, or yeah, this is the one. So from right hand side, read Maven form. So that's the script we want to use inside our pipeline. So it takes file, which is optional. By default, it looks for pom.xml in current directory. Inside our Jenkins file, let me declare a variable. pom.xml so I want to replace this hard-coded value with interpolation like this that's my complete pom file in that I want to access version C that variable is referring complete file in that the property name is version so I'm using that version there and make sure the string is in double quotes when we are using interpolations. So copy the same piece of code, replace it there, like this. Now our code is dynamic. Whenever there is a change in the version, dynamically our script picks the same version with same war file, uploads that information to Nexus. Okay, I see okay, exception, but still it says the plugin got installed successfully. Let me come back. Let's commit the code to our GitHub and trigger the job and see if it is working. For the sake of demonstration, I will make this version as 2.00. I have opened my terminal. Let's open simple app. Let's build it. Okay. We got exception. I know why we got this exception. When we use a scripted kind of syntaxes like defining a variable and so on, we need to wrap this information inside a script block. Let's close this terminal, come back to Jenkins file. Yes, yeah. So let me wrap 
this piece of code inside script. Okay, no issues. So I will align this later on for now. When we use a variable definitions, all that it should be inside script. Let me open the terminal. Right, do push, come back to the project, do a build. Something is wrong again. Okay, the issue is this. Let's stage, let's commit, let's push it, let's rebuild it. it it's working perfect. See that the version is coming dynamically from form.xml inside nexus let's go to this browse the application is simple app release obviously we see 1.0 which was uploaded in previous video and 2.0 which is uploaded in the current video that's all from this video i will see you in next video thank you